My name is Bill Reese. Got hired early at Honda. I started in motorcycle paint department. After about two years in my career, Honda handpicked 13 associates to travel and live in Japan, and that's when I was picked to start up the Marysville Auto Plant. I'm Terry Schmidt. I started August 2nd of 1982. I had no idea that I would grow in a career from being a receptionist and using a pager system to bringing the North American groups together. My name's Tom Shoup. I've been uh, at Honda for 31 years, effective last March. I came into a group called Corporate Planning in 1988, was able to see a pretty broad scope of the company, but was also able to find areas where I could jump in and contribute. It was very big for the state of Ohio, for this region, for our associates, and our record of success speaks for itself. Mr. Honda took a big risk to make Honda the first Japanese automaker to build in the United States. And it was a right move. 40 years ago, I had my own business with another fellow here in Marysville in Union County. We did uh, surveying work, engineering work. Some folks from Honda wanted to meet with us. They were planning to build a motorcycle plant here in Union County. The commissioners that were in place 40 years ago when, when Honda made the decision to locate here had tremendous foresight. Glenn Irwin, he said that those Allen Township soils grow cars much better than they ever have grown corn and beans. When I first came to work at Honda, it was just a motorcycle factory that produced 245 units per day. At that point in time, Everybody knew each other, and it was truly a small family. If we could build an exceptional motorcycle, Honda would consider opening a full factory that would produce cars. That decision was made as soon as that first motorcycle ran off the assembly line. As soon as we did that, there was a fax that rolled in that said simply, proceed with auto production. The original associates were kind of the pioneers, if you will. They were the first hires, they were the trailblazers, uh, along with uh, a lot of the Japanese associates who came here to help support us. I can remember every week we had a new hire orientation and uh, it was just packed with associates. In the late 80s, we developed a kind of strategy of vision, if you will, that would lay out our course. The basis of that was a five-part strategy to build a self-reliant motor vehicle company in the United States and in North America. In 1986, we introduced another line, a second line. At that same point in time, we introduced Anna Engine Factory and continued to expand. The Anna Engine Plant was a key component of our strategy of self-reliance. It started up in a farmhouse. It's well over several million square feet at this point and has been a pillar or backbone of our expansion. It was a really fun time uh, because we were growing with the automobile plant and then the Anna engine plant and then obviously the East Liberty plant. Sheer joy from everybody of Oh, we've got something new. <laughs> new product or, or new facility, which brings new opportunity. 
One of my last projects for the last two years, I was in the uh, warranty section for the NSX factory. What a goal to work on a supercar project. There's so many uh, experiences I've had over my career where I've witnessed or been a part of uh, what we call the challenging spirit at Honda. The company was growing so fast and there were so many things that needed to be done. Everybody knew the stakes, everybody knew the importance, and everybody stepped up and we got it done. Honda's success really became the story. When you think about a motorcycle plant, two automobile assembly plants, an engine plant, transmission plant, all that happening in rural America, in rural Ohio. Mr. Honda's philosophy is to always build the product in the location where you sell the product. We believe that that's a part of our responsibility to make sure that the communities that we reside in are experiencing the same kind of success that we've been fortunate to over 40 years. When the community and the corporations work together, big things, big positive things can really happen. When Honda came to uh, Marysville and Muni County, Marysville had a population of about 8,000 people. Today, Honda itself employs approximately 15,000 people at its four plants here in Ohio. Before Honda came here, average household income was about $17,000. Today it's $79,000, so huge increase there. From Dublin to Indian Lake, there are 65 businesses that are automotive related, and that's going to continue to expand. Night and day, from country roads to <laughs> where we're at today, kind of brought us from a small community to limelight, I guess, <laughs> from a country girl's perspective. Community engagement and involvement is, is at the core of the company's culture as well. We want to be a company that society wanted to exist. Honda leaders were engaged in organizations in the community, going to Chamber of Commerce events and, and those kinds of things. Over the last 40 years, YWCA has been the recipient of about $3 million from Honda. We can't do it alone. Um, we're 24-7 operation and we need volunteers. And Honda always provides trusted uh, volunteers dedicated to our mission. They come and they are ready to serve. It gives us an opportunity to help women and families who are in crises, and Honda has been a generous supporter of all of that work through the years. Honda has had a tremendous impact on our local community, Union County and Marysville, but that impact has been felt in the Columbus region, in the state of Ohio, in the Midwest, and all of the United States. Honda understands how people are changing the ways they use cars. People will still buy a car for their personal needs, but car sharing is also here. The market is changing. The uh, technology is changing. And I'm so excited for Honda in the future because Honda will take and define the next evolution of both motorcycles, side-by-sides, four-wheelers, and cars. I'm certain that we're going to be successful because of the people that we have here at Honda and the track record we have. I'm excited for the young people coming in. I look forward to seeing where they take it to the next level and how it's going to grow. I think with the new technology coming out, it's just going to get better and better. We want every single person who comes in contact with the Honda product, we want them to experience true joy. One way that we try to capture and expand the joy is by dreaming and dreaming big and knowing that our ideas and our notions can be part of a process of creating greater mobility for society. I'm very excited for Honda's America's future. Congratulations Honda on your 40th anniversary. You've made a tremendous impact on our local community. 
We've got a 40-year track record of success, and I think it's a tribute to all the associates who poured in their energy, their ideas, their passion, their motivation into this company and have built us into what we are today. History will judge this activity as a great success. 